Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Adam Cesar's Tribesman. Yeah. Um, if you don't know, Adam Cesar is a YouTuber. Um, he runs a channel uh, called the Black T-Shirt Project. Um, I can't remember if his name is the title of his channel or if it is the Black T-Shirt Project. I'm not sure, but um, he's really, really good. Uh, him and Cameron Chaney are my two biggest inspirations for wanting to start a channel. And that was even before I had read any of Cesar's work. Since then, I've read The Con Season, The Summer Job, I enjoyed both of them, and now I've read Tribesmen, and I enjoyed this one also. Oh yeah, vi not Video Night. Um, what is it? It's the one, Zero Lives Remaining. That's it. Uh, that one was fantastic. Um, this one is fantastic. I gave this one five stars on Goodreads, so that's a TLDR. Um, if you, if you don't hang around for the rest of the video, I loved it. What I loved about it is going into any type of book like this, uh, a, a, it's, it's a themed novel, um, almost a tribute to things. There are certain expectations that one one brings with them to something like this. You want the gore, you want the nudity, you want the the insane violence, um, you want some kind of unexpectedness, um, unpredictability, because if you get into something like this and everything is just unfolding as the stuff that it's based on unfolded, there's no fun in that. That's not a tribute, that's just mimicry. Um, with this one, I, right off the bat, I was instantly engaged. It opens up with a twist on this type of storyline. Um, I've read several books that tackle this type of subject, and I haven't liked any of them except for um, Kia Wilson. I think it's Kia Wilson. Let's see here. Yeah, Kia Wilson's We Eat Our Own, which is back here on my shelf. I like that one all right. It's a far more literary take. It has second person narrative, first person, third person. It's a very literary take on a fictionalized version of Cannibal Holocaust. This one is another one that is a fictionalized take on that, but this doesn't deal with, uh, it's not like a documentary kind of deal. What it is, is the actual, it's like they're actually, they're filming the movie, and you're there for the filming of the movie, and then things go horribly wrong. And that's what I was waiting for with Kia Wilson's book, um, where where Wilson failed me, Cesar came to the rescue. I enjoyed everything about this book. There was a there was one point when I actually went what <laughs> to the book as if it could answer me. Um, it shocked me. Uh, not not it wasn't a gore thing. It was a plot twist that I wasn't expecting. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it. Looking back on it now, but um, I was not expecting it. And the entire tone of the book changes at that pivot point. Um, I, I appreciated all the characters. I did not see the final girl coming. Um, I did not see that aspect. I thought it was going to be someone else, and uh, it wasn't. I think that's kind of a spoiler because there's only two female characters. But um, when you get to that point, I mean, it's, it's obvious who's going to survive once you get to that point. Up until that point, it's not. Um, I appreciated the, the utter ridiculousness of the of the reactions because of now the the book is not ridiculous the book is not funny don't get me wrong there what i'm talking about is the the reaction to a certain scene how everybody i see these are all spoilers but how everybody reacts to a certain scene it had me giggling because i was having so much fun it was right after the what moment i was just like this is great and i took but i took my time with this also i did not blow through it. I probably could have read this in a sitting. This is only 109 pages, but I wanted to take my time with it because I was having so much fun. It's almost like, that's one of the things that I enjoy so much about reading um, versus, you know, watching a movie is I can't slow down a movie, but with, well, I mean, you can pause it, of course, and you can do slow motion, but you really, it's, it really is not conducive to the process, you know. Um, it does not enhance the, the the process, not for me anyways. With a book, I can slow down and go, okay, I see what they did here. I see I see what they did here. I see why this is this sentence or this paragraph is built the way it is. Um, the, Adam Cesar is the most dependable horror author working today. 
I have never picked up one of his books and found a multitude of errors. I've never picked up his books and found you know, hot garbage. <laughs> I've never picked up his book and found loads of plot holes. He is very consistent, and I respect that, especially in the digital age when people just throw up their rough drafts. Um, now, the I think the best part about this book is the expectations, like I was talking about before. You know, I, I brought this up in other videos, old, old videos. You can't have a book like Riley Sager's Final Girls. You can't have a book that deals with the aftermath of a slasher, you know, story, um, and ex and have people, and and have a boring story. I guess is what is what I'm saying. You can't have uh, you can't give someone the premise that. You know, you're inside the aftermath of a slasher film or inside a slasher film and not give them what they showed up for. It'd be like The Walking Dead and only having the zombies in it for maybe two minutes in the middle of an episode and all the rest of it was drama. You have to have the, the promise. You have to, basically, you have to cash the check that you're writing. And that's what Adam Cesar does consistently. He's like Hunter Shea in, in that regard they always provide the fun that you are looking for and that's that that's it and it's a consistent package and i enjoy it but i'm done rambling please go pick up tribesman and literally anything else by this author definitely check out his youtube channel also he does fantastic movie reviews uh i think he uh, he does right now he's doing like a shutter series um, he's, he's done book reviews, all that stuff. Definitely check him out. Um, I'll leave all his deets down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!